What's up, everybody? Jason here from EO7 Media and 4Love Films, and today with my boy Rex, we are going to do a very quick tutorial about how to clean up some background noise in Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition. Now before we start, guys, make sure you like and subscribe if this video helps. Your subscriptions and your likes makes me know that I'm doing a good job and we're gonna be making more videos. So please share the love. Doesn't take that long. I love you. Welcome to another very quick tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be discussing how to get background noise out of some audio. We were in a venue shooting a conference and we were pulling people out to do quick interviews with them. And the only location we were allowed to set up in was the front of the lobby. And it granted, it was gorgeous. However, there was a lot of background noise. There was music playing in the background, which we did get them to lower a little bit, but they said they could not turn it off because it was also a restaurant. So we didn't want to interrupt the patrons of the restaurant. And the other thing, the really big thing, was that there was a fountain in the middle of the lobby that could not be turned off. But I am able to take some of that out in post, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right, so first and foremost, I'm going to assume you know mostly about how to start syncing up audio, but in case for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you my uh, very quick tutorial about how to do this. So here is the audio. We have a boom mic right above them, and then we have a lav mic right here. Now, usually the lav mic, I only keep on for safety and the boom mic always sounds better. However, in this location with the fountain right back here, here's what the boom mic sounds like. Well, uh, my father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. So as you can hear, it's really, really, really water fountain-y. Now, here is the lav mic. Well, uh, my father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. My father-in-law started, my father-in-law started. Now already, since he is speaking at a, a really good level, uh, the lav mic is actually cleaning up some of that audio already. So we aren't hearing as much because his body is blocking the sound from over here, but the boom mic is catching it, unfortunately. So the first thing we're gonna do is sync everything up disable this audio track and even though that's the audio track i normally like we are not going to do it uh the very first thing we're going to do to the lav mic audio track is i'm going to go over here we're going to go to our effects panel and type in multi band compressor bring it down here go up to your effects control hit edit go down here hit broadcast go down to attack hit one and that's it that's all you're going to do for right here so let's take a, take a listen to this really quick. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. It already sounds much, much better. Now you can also still hear the waterfall fountain disaster happening in the background here, listen. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. And let's take a quick listen to what it sounds like without any talking in there. It's really evident that you can hear this background noise in there. So now that we have it a level that we like, it's hitting about negative six to negative nine decibels. We're going to right click on this, hit edit clip in Adobe Audition. It's going to save it. It's going to open up Audition. The first thing you're gonna do in here is to scroll in. See all these uh, sound waves? You're looking for a place where it's the absolute lowest where there's no talking. So you wanna look into these little valleys right here. It doesn't sound like there's anyone talking there. That one's pretty good. Let's go back over here. Okay, that's probably your best one. So you're gonna to scroll in on your mouse to open up this, you just scroll out, scroll in, and you're going to highlight an area that has no talking in it. You're gonna right click and select capture noise print, or you can hit shift P. If you're doing this a lot, you're gonna learn these keyboard shortcuts very well, and it's gonna save you a ton of time. So capture noise print, there you go. Now here is the most important aspect, click off of this. If you have this highlighted and you go on to the next step without clicking off of this, it's only gonna clean this little section that's highlighted right here. So make sure you click off. 
scroll back out. I like to be able to see the whole thing that I'm working with. You're going to go up to effects, go down to noise reduction and hit noise reduction process or control shift P. Again, you're going to learn how to do these uh, keyboard shortcuts much faster because you're going to be doing this more often. So hit this. It's going to bring up the noise reduction uh, effects panel. In here, you have a noise reduction and reduce by. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of the technicalities of everything, but you are basically going to reduce your noise reduction and then slowly reduce your noise reduct by on this. So for instance, I believe this is how it should start out. Like these are those noise floors right there. Let's go ahead and lower that as you're getting that noise up into, I don't know. I really don't know what this is doing technically, but I know this works. So I dropped that down to about 90. And it sounds okay, but we're gonna drop this down a little bit lower to about five decibels. So we're actually killing that background noise by five decibels. You can go all the way down, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna make everything sound like a robot. Like it makes it sound really bad. I'm putting this one about five and you're gonna have to do this for every individual person. No one is the same. So you kinda just gotta do it by ear. Okay, we're gonna hit apply. It's gonna do that really quick. You have to hit control save to make sure that this project is saved. Now it will automatically drag it into here, but just as a precaution, you're an editor, always make sure you're hitting save. Now it automatically brings the new file in. Now let's take a listen. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. And you might not have to do the multiband compressor technique. I just like to do that because it makes the voice sound more full. Any kind of talking head where they're pretty much talking to the camera and I have a little bit of control of the audio, it really brings the warmth of a voice out that much more. And by doing all the effects ahead of time and not after, I seem to have more control of the audio in Adobe Audition versus the other way around. Now you might find that maybe you do the audition part first, clean it up and then add the effects. It really depends on what works best for you and your workflow. I find by doing it first and then going into Adobe Audition, it allows me a little more control and allows me to know exactly what it's gonna sound like instead of bringing it back into Premiere uh, after audition and then adding the effects and then going, okay, now I can hear that noise even more after I hit those effects. Now I gotta bring it back into Adobe Audition or scrap the whole thing and start from scratch. I like knowing kind of the level that's gonna sound like in audition so I don't have to do much more work after that. Now that the audio is sounding pretty good, of course, I wanna drop in uh, my adjustments. I'm going to drop in my color grading and then this is how it's gonna look when all said and done. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. My father-in-law started uh, with two shops in 1968. And he wanted me to come on board. And I really didn't want to. Be better, do something awesome today. And make sure you're dropping your projects down to link to me because I want to see what you're working on. All right, guys, have a great day. Take care, be safe, be healthy. Give someone a high five today. Boom.